The council rolling out a scaled back version of the proposed ticket tax. The new plan calls for a 5% tax that's down from the 7% that was originally proposed. It calls for creating two funds, one to invest in creativity, the other to invest in stability. NBC4's Ted Hart has our story. He's live tonight at Columbus City Hall. Ted? Yeah, City Council President Shannon Harden said today that the plan that was unveiled today was the result of listening to the community and listening to the concerns of opponents. But some of those opponents told us today that they still plan to continue to fight. The Greater Columbus Arts Council had identified a $15 million gap in funding for the Columbus Arts community. Money needed to compete with other cities in attracting top-notch entertainment. Money to fund grants for artists and opportunities for arts education. So over the last two months, we've been listening. City Council President Shannon Harden said a 7% tax to fill that gap was too high. Council's plan calls for a 5% ticket fee that will generate about $9 million a year. As a community, we need to invest, and we need to invest in a real way that stabilizes them, but also gives room for more access and inclusion. The plan would establish two funds, one with the estimated $3 million in ticket tax revenue collected at Nationwide Arena. 80% of those funds would go back into maintaining the arena. The rest would help maintain other arts facilities. The second fund, about $6 million from the 5% ticket fee on performances and sports events at other venues, would be used to support education and emerging artists. It's unfair, it's unjust, and we will beat them at the ballot box. Mike Ganadakis, with Advocates for Responsible Taxation, says his group plans to force the issue to the ballot so voters can decide. We do not want a new tax. We do not want another nationwide arena bailout. And what are they giving us today? They're giving us a nationwide arena bailout and a new tax. They didn't listen. And City Council has scheduled a public hearing on this new proposal Thursday at 5 o'clock. And a vote by Council is expected in early December. Local for you and live at City Hall, Ted Hart, NBC4. All right, Ted, thanks for the update. Well, just moments ago, we caught up with Arnold Schwarzenegger to get his thoughts on the ticket tax. And, of course, the former governor of California is the man behind the Arnold Classic, one of the biggest sporting events right here in Columbus every year. And here's what he had to say. I think it's going to be damaging to businesses uh, here in Columbus. I think it's going to be damaging to uh, families. I just don't understand it, how you want to collect the tax uh, from sports and then give it to arts. Doesn't make any sense to me. All right, coming up at 6 o'clock, he'll be back. We'll hear again from Arnold Schwarzenegger about the direct impact that he thinks the tax would have on his event, the Arnold Classic.